as those horses running in the Derby of 1896. The 1896 Derby, and take a good look at one of the earliest newsreels ever seen in the cinema. Historic film. And not much of it is left, because film buckles and fades, however well stored it is, and preserving historic film is a tricky scientific job, now undertaken by the British Film Institute. Here, they are clipping film to see if the base it's printed on is stable, because in time, it'll decompose and ruin the picture. And the only way of saving it is copying it afresh. In this artificial aging test, an alizarin red indicator is used. If the indicator bleaches, the film is near its life's end and must be recopied. But sadly, before this National Archive for Films was opened and scientists set to work, hundreds of thousands of feet of famous film was wrecked and lost. It helps if you keep film at a constant level of temperature and humidity, but it still deteriorates. Only careful copying of the restored original enables us to see the great Sir Johnston Forbes Robertson as Hamlet. The great actor was 63 years old. The date is 1913. And look at that ghostly cinema trick that they contrived. This unique film was saved for posterity when it had almost perished. Sir Johnston's daughter found it rotting in an attic and sent it to the British Film Institute when it had already started to shrink. It's a tricky business copying shrunken film, so ageing film is measured with a special care. Not all of this old film is black and white. Pathé produced this colour fashion film in 1912 with 200 women employed stenciling the colours in frame by frame. How old would they be? 19? Then there are 70 today. Imagine that, a Pathé colour film shown in the cinemas 51 years ago, when other film of the day had aged so badly that the only way of saving it is to wash the picture free from its base like a transfer in a bath of gelatin and float it between plates of glass, a job you tackle gingerly. Have you any old film that might be famous and quite irreplaceable? The Institute's National Film Archive would like to know because so much film history is being lost and a lot of what they've salvaged is in danger. Rescue work is costly and delicate too. Even today, they have to test film to see if minute grains of the developing chemicals are still there, making the photographs fade. What meticulous work has had to be done to present this cinema record of the funeral of King Edward VII, when 15 crowned heads of Europe walked through Windsor streets? and the Duke of Windsor when he was the Bonnie Prince of Wales. There are all sorts and sizes of film that may have unique value and at the film archive they've had to devise techniques for reprinting them all in standard form with a frame-by-frame -frame printer partly made of pieces from a boy's Meccano set. This is the prototype from which they've built their modern printers and it's completely functional.
it's working. And now, laboriously, it's reprinting an old film inch by inch. The result? We can invite ourselves to a garden party given by Queen Victoria. And there she is, under her sunshade, Queen Victoria herself. Fashions are on parade. Style in the flickering manner of the fin du siècle. But see how they compare with the...